Sorry about that, I couldn't resist. It was a lot of fun, actually. Um, what I have here is the Part C material that we have that we get in the big rolls. And this is a flexible mirror. I've framed it out with uh, some 2x4, just regular pine, and I've sealed it with mastic, which is just a basic tape that's used for um, metal sheeting, roofing, that sort of thing. And then I've also added silicone around the outside. So what we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to be adding a backer to this that is just regular, like, either plywood or a piece of plastic, something that's a lot thicker than this. We're going to be drawing a vacuum in on this side. I went to a business park and I saw windows. When the AC kicked on, they are tinted windows. And what happened is the cool air actually caused the whole building to, to compress. And this caused all the windows to turn into a parabolic shape. Now, all the hedges along that building are actually brown on top. And I'm sure that they can't quite figure out why their hedges are dyed. But the setting sun pretty much fries them. And what we're going to be doing, this is a 90-some percent mirror. It's actually a really good mirror. This is the Part C material again. And it's just a whole sheet of it. And I've got the mastic tape. I've got this stuff on our website if you guys are interested in it. But we're going to be sealing this up, drawing a vacuum in here. And I'm going to be showing you how you can make an adjustable parabolic mirror for about 50 bucks. This is We've got our silicone in here, and I put the uh, a white enamel, it's just a regular enamel spray. This is actually uh, a thicker epoxy enamel spray that I had. I got. We drilled a hole in here that the hole for this particular drill was um, five-eighths of an inch, and I got this air kit for about, this is a three-eighths, so it comes with these adapters except for the brass one. This was... Uh, this is from Lowe's, just air compressors, real simple stuff. It's an open and closed valve. I sealed the whole inside of the chamber that we drilled with silicone. This is the core plast sheet that we're putting on here. This is a half an inch thick, and this is the inside. Now I want to show you when I move this, it's kind of cool. You can actually almost tear that sheet off, it's so strong. So we're going to close this up. That's on there. This is the core plast. And then on the front, we've got our sheet. Now, gravity right now is pulling it down. But what we're going to do is I'm going to take that small vacuum. I'm going to zoom into the mirror part. And I'm going to draw the small vacuum. And you can see what happens. Put a nice draw on it. Now we have a big 48 inch somewhat of a parabolic mirror and I could increase that with a vacuum pump you can see that's really tight but I don't think that this material can take a whole lot more than that I mean I, I guess it could it does do this around the edges which loses a lot so you basically end up with about a 36 37 inch area but if you look it's a very clean mirror I mean it's there's there's not a lot wrong with that. That's pretty uh, pretty good. By the way, I um, still have the same crappy clothes on. So, <laughs> anyways, just ignore my clothes. I've been messing with silicone. I don't want to get get stuff dirty. Ouch! I just cut the shit out of myself on a piece of glass. Ah, man. <clears throat> Wrist. Picking the, uh, picking that thing up. I actually rest, rested my hand right on a piece of glass. So I'm going to go take care of this, and I'll be back in a minute. All right, so we got a little uh, wound repair going on there. The mirror right here, the sun, we're kind of bouncing it at an angle. So what I'm going to do is see where the focal length is on this. I'm thinking it's going to be about five meters. Uh, this is it. Uh, I'm moving this around. The actual spot that this is producing is about six inches in diameter. So we're only using a fraction of the area that's uh, effectively being.
what I did was I took that little vacuum cleaner and sucked some more air out of this to increase the vacuum inside. This shortened the focal length and gave us a more defined spot on our target. So we are over here. And we've been running this for about three minutes it's been in the sun. Okay, you can see the sun's moved again. It's been hard to keep it right on spot. And we're going to zoom in on this and see. We actually caught the stand on fire. Wow. I'm going to readjust this. Okay, this has been running for about five minutes and we finally got the water to boil. Um, it's pretty good. I, I, managed, I had to readjust it a lot because the focal length's really long on this, so it moves every few, like every minute it pretty much starts. You can actually see it track. There's the mirror. There's the cat. There's Denise with our dog that's sick right now. Say hi, Max. Say hi. Max is our three-legged tripod dog. He has, he had osteosarcoma, so he had that removed, and now he developed this nasty lump. So we've been giving him a lot of herbal remedies, and he's going to be going for possibly some chemo on Monday if we... There's my mom's dog, sweet thing. We're going to come back over. There's my mom. There's me, the cat, that's just great. Anyways, here's the mirror. And I'm just gonna go with it because it's been really tricky to do. But you can see right here. A lot of fun today. I should probably get stitches for this but I'm gonna to try to get a butterfly to stay on it this is pretty impressive because you can increase or decrease the focal length you can make it further or closer just by increasing the vacuum you can really get this to be a larger one you could probably get a focal length of 30 40 50 meters which uh, it's pretty cool for that because the further away the focal length is the more of them you can array into one spot and uh, we're going to be doing some stuff with this in future videos and see what happens, but we were able to get water to boil in five minutes. You can see that it uh, does a number on wood. So uh, anyways, I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos. that has a lot more rigid surface to it. We're going to be taking that and we're going to be drilling a hole here and then we're going to be adding a... Uh... Ow! What the hell? Ah! Ah! Ugh! Damn it! Ah! You so... Ooh! So this is what was biting me. A bad bug. All right, I'm back, and uh, I got a nice bite on my neck, but what... Put the back on that. I have that about 15 feet away, and I've got a big... the corrugated board that I'm going to be putting on there, and that's way over there. Now, this is kind of neat. Watch how this... Uh, I'm going to pound on the back of this board here. You can see just me moving this makes a difference in that sheet. You can see it start to move. Now I'm just going to move this back and forth. You can see how it actually instantly affects it. So if I want to, I'm going to move it really fast towards me, then towards the uh, project. 
then I can also hit it like a drum. And it pretty much copies everything I do.